this is Linda and Aaron with Traveling Flamingo and today we're here to talk with you guys about the fast pass system uh, what it is how you can use it in advance and how you can use it the day of your trip so when we were on Disney World last time and we were waiting in line to do a ride the, we just started chatting to the people behind us it was our first time there they had no idea about fast passes they had no idea about the app so we we're trying to give them a quick crash course in line before we got on the ride and you know, we just thought we'd make this for anybody out there who's looking to plan a trip to Disney World and you're interested in doing a bit of stuff in advance. How can you do it? How does this work? And you know, we find that it's really useful to our trips when we go to make sure that we've got a few fast passes booked for when we're there. If you remember the old fast pass systems that uh, they used to have, it was the paper pass. You would come into the park you'd use your you know your card your key to the world card and you would come into the park and then you'd go to something like splash mountain they would have a return time you'd press the button you get a paper ticket where you put your uh, keys to the kingdom card in and then you would get the paper ticket and there was some exclusivity you couldn't you know get another ticket for so long that was the old ticketed fast pass system um so if you remember that 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 old process this is effectively a digital version of that mm -hmm. So now the fast pass is similar, but as Aaron said, it's digital. So you're able to pre-select rides up to 60 days in advance. If you're staying on property, that is at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 30 days if you're not staying on property. The photos, the photos both from PhotoPass and on and on rides are linked for free, uh, but you you will you do need to pay if you want to if you want to download them. So you can either do that with PhotoPass Plus, but you can see them in your app, so you can download them later. Uh, it does replace the the paper pass. Um, it's linked to your band if you have a Magic Band, or if you have the card for the day, it will be linked. You can link it to that. And it does work with the iOS Apple devices as well as Android devices. So the way that you use this, so in advance of uh, your reservation, as we said, 30 days if you're not staying on property, 60 days if you are, you use the My Disney Experience app for iOS or Android, or you can use the online website. So whatever way you feel you want to access it, we do recommend having the app when you are in the park because you will be you know, managing your experience there. You're mm -hmm. booking food and everything else that you do through the My Disney Experience app. So you download the app, you make sure everybody in your party's tickets are linked. Uh, once you book your tickets, they're usually automatically linked, but if you have two parties or something traveling, you'll wanna make sure that they're all linked. Uh, as we said, you can book at 7 a.m. Eastern time, 60 days in advance if you're staying on property. 30 days in advance if you're not staying on property. So some of those really popular rides, you're probably gonna want to get 60 days in advance. So you may wanna pick like a, an on-property hotel or a value hotel or whatever works for you to get some of those popular ones like Slinky Dog. Um, so we, we highly recommend you do that. And basically you open up the app, uh, it will allow you to make the selections within the theme park that you want to book. If you have Park Hopper, you can hop parks on the same day. So you can book a ticket for Magic Kingdom and then book another one for Animal Kingdom. There are what's called Tier 1 rides. The Tier 1 rides are rides that cannot be booked with other Tier 1 rides. So for example, in Animal Kingdom, uh, Flight of Passage cannot be booked with Navi River Journey. You would have to book that on a separate day or once all your fast passes are used up, you only get three of them. Once those three fast passes are used up, you can then get an individual fast pass if it's available for that ride. Mm -hmm. There is a limited number of fast passes available every day to pre-book. So we highly recommend that you get those reservations because you could get there and there's no fast passes available and you're stuck in the standby lines. Yeah, and you can wait in the line and it just means that if it is so happens to be an hour to a two hour line that day, you're spending two hours of your day standing in line. And not all rides will offer fast pass, but almost all of them do. And there is also single rider, so you'll want to check what, what rides have single rider because you generally don't need a fast pass for those. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the last thing about booking in advance is you can change and modify those fast passes as you go. So if you think, oh, you know what, I actually want to go to this restaurant, I'd like to pick different fast passes, you absolutely can. And if you don't get the fast passes you want, sometimes they come up because People change their plans, but do not bet on that. That you know, a lot of them can be sort of very sacred, if you will, in terms mm -hmm. of people wanting to keep those fast passes. So, in advance, you can book, as we said, 30 to 60 days in advance, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you know, get get what you want in. You can book three fast passes, and you can do park hopping if you have park hopping. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, just a couple of things, you can do it for the character meets, so in uh, the parks there also have opportunities to meet certain characters, so if you know there's someone you really want to meet and you're not interested in doing the character dining, then I would recommend booking the Fast Pass for the character as well. Um, if you're interested in looking into the character dining, we find it a really great value, especially going with young kids, you can get a meal in as well as as well as meet multiple characters. Uh, check out our video on everything you need to know about uh, character dining. Um, one other point to the in advance. The last time we went, we were going three or four days before my sister was and her fiance were meeting us. And I was a little bit worried, well, you know, we were gonna be booking our fast passes. We could book ours three or four days before them. So if theirs are linked to yours, and even though their trip didn't start till four days later, I was able to book fast passes for them on the days that they were there with us. So once their trip started, I was able to like, so we were able to book fast passes on the Monday. They weren't going to be able to book fast passes till the Thursday, but I could book for when their trip started three days in advance. So we could all have the same rides those days that we were there together. So basically for the days that they were just starting, we could book 60 days in advance plus three days for instance for them because they were three days earlier so since ours was first we were then it opens it up for the whole day so yeah. it's not like you have to go every day to book your pass yeah the day your reservation begins 60 days in advance of that you can book for the entire uh trip and trip. everybody who's coming with you Enough. so if you're worried that there are people who are trips are starting different days um you can book for everybody all together and last thing to note on fast passes and advances you have about a one hour window between bookings so you can't you can't really book a fast pass within an hour of another fast pass and the fast passes also last for an hour so if you book mm -hmm. at 9 30 you have until 10 30 to use it mm -hmm. uh, there is a little bit of give or take on either side of that but you know the, the lines get slow if you if you if you come too early and they gotta stop you yeah it, so. it's very clear on the app it will say from 9 30 to 10 30 it won't let you book one starting at 10 if you have one that doesn't end till 10 30 and with dinner reservations it will tell you that you know you have a dinner reservation at 5 30 it won't let you book one from five to six so if you're familiar with disneyland which will let you do that disney world won't let you do that so just so you know for that specific for disney world okay so when you're in the park how can you use your fast passes so all the same rules apply you get three per day but it does you can still use the app if you haven't had a chance to book it in advance or you're just going through you didn't know you can book three that day once you're done your first three you're able to book one at a time uh, there are also kiosks around the park so if you didn't book in advance or um, you're not interested in using your, your mobile app, there are kiosks in the park that you can go to scan your band or scan your pass and it will show you what's available and you can book them there as well. Um, you can only choose, you, you can only, <laughs> once you choose your time for your fast pass uh, and you have it on your card, um, you will go to the lineup they will have a fast pass line, they will have your regular entrance and you will tap your band and the employees there will see that it is within your time, it will go green and then you can get onto the ride. Um, you can only be about five minutes early uh, to about five minutes late. I mean, sometimes they'll let you wiggle that around, but I mean, you're just wasting your time if you show up 20 minutes early and they're like, well, sorry, you're gonna have to wait. So, you know, if five minutes though is a, is a grace period that they always will let you in if you're only five minutes early or five minutes late. Um, once you've used all your three, you're able to book more one at a time. Um, so the main thing about in the park, if you, and the day of, if you haven't booked them, you can do it on the kiosk, at the kiosk or on the app. And once you've used all three of yours, you can use the app or the kiosk to book one more at a time. So we also wanted to mention that if you are staying in club level suites, so those are sort of the premium suites at Disney, uh, you can actually book 90 days in advance. It does cost $50 per person per day more. Uh, so even though you're paying more for the club level suites, you're now also paying more uh, for booking in advance. However, you can book multiple tier one rides. So you can book Flight of Passage along with Navi River Journey, for instance. Um, at the same time, which you can't do with regular fast passes, and you also get three extra fast passes, so mm -hmm. it gives you a total of six fast passes. Um, I think it adds a little bit more value to the club level suites, even though you're paying a bit more. If you're there for a limited number of days, it might make perfect sense. 
to pay a little bit more and get on everything you want to get on. But uh, we don't really see the value in club level in general. You do get like, it's sort of like a gold floor if you're used to Fairmont or those sort of lounges that you get if you have like elite status at hotels where you can get some food, alcohol's available. Uh, if you're into that, you know, they've got a bunch of different uh, meal and sort of food items that are specific to those those hotels. So for instance, at Polynesian, you'll get stuff that's similar to what you would get at Ohana or at uh, Kona Cafe. Um, but if you're going with a family even more than two, if you're going with four, like that's $200 a day. I'd rather stay for an extra day yeah. um, than be spending extra money for more fast passes. So. You know, something that's just started out this year, so we'll see how it goes. If you've tried it though, we'd love to hear your experiences and if you've had positive experiences with the gold floor, maybe the people we went with weren't the right people for it, but... Club level. Club level. Sorry, right, not Fairmount. Club level. Uh, let us know. Let us know. I do think though, if Disney, if you're listening, that would make a lot more sense if you could get fast passes without booking in advance for your stay. Mm. If they made it that you could just show up and then book six fast passes or even three fast passes, even if they're out, that would be worthwhile. Yeah. Because then if you're a family and you didn't know about it, you could say, you know what, maybe I will actually upgrade to club level just so we can yeah. actually get on these We're rides. only gonna have one day at this park. Yeah. I may be an international traveler. Yeah. yeah, I think it would have made more sense if you did it the other way around, where you didn't get it 90 days in advance, you just had fast passes, you could book at any point, yeah. and you know, it overrode the fact that there's a limited number of tickets, and that you could, yeah. you know, that, personally I think that would have been worth more money yeah. than the way that Disney's doing it now, but... The That's other thing me. you can use the app for, I know it's not quite about the fast passes, but dining, you can book your dining reservations 120 days in advance. So that's something you might want to keep in mind if you're new to the fast pass or the app or that system. Some of the more popular dining can go quickly. So you do have extra time to book that it's 120 days in advance. A good tip there is once you plan out what dining you want and what parks you want for dining, it's pretty easy to pick what rides you then want after the 60 day or 30 mm -hmm. day time slot so you know keep that in mind it's it's really good in that it keeps you planning it keeps the excitement up for the trip yeah if, if you're booking you know if you book this you know six months or eight months or 12 months or whatever in advance it's a lot of fun to sort of sit down with the family and pick where you want to eat and you know pick what rides you want to go on and it really keeps that sort of mm -hmm. excitement and i think disney does a really good job in disney world of pulling you into that yes. disneyland's very different we'll do a video on that but for uh, disney world it's a great way of so they're keeping that up and I think a lot mm. of that's because there's a lot of international travelers who go to Disney World. So thank you very much for watching. We hope that this video helped bring a little bit more magic to your planning and your trip when you go to Disney World. And thank you very much for all the people who've subscribed. Make sure you hit that like button and add any comments or suggestions in the comment box below. Thank you.